For today, I'm going to take you through a full body workout using one set of dumbbells and one bench. For this workout, I used a set of 25 pound dumbbells, so like a moderate weight. We're going to start with 10 goblet squats. So for that squat position, you want to think about twisting your feet into the ground, feeling your feet spread the floor apart. Holding that goblet, you're going to grab on with the heels of the hands and then drive the elbows in toward that dumbbell, really strong brace through your core and your lats, kind of right underneath your armpits. Pushing into the heels as you drive up, good squeeze of the glutes at the top. Keeping that core strong throughout. For the next exercise, we're going to go a single arm dumbbell row off the bench. So I'm going one hand, one knee supported, and I'm going to step out pretty wide so my chest is over the floor. As I pull up with that dumbbell, that elbow is going to graze my rib cage, and I'm squeezing right underneath my armpit, or kind of right where my sports bra would wrap around. At the top of that row, make sure that your elbow and your wrist are still in line so it doesn't turn into a little bicep curl. So you don't want the head of that dumbbell to hit you in the shoulder. It should pull almost back just a hair. Ten on each side. Core stays strong throughout so we're keeping that chest square to the floor. Squeezing right underneath that armpit, lats, rhomboids, right in between the shoulder blades at the top and controlling that weight on the way down. Don't let that weight get pulled to the floor. For the next exercise, we're gonna go with a flat bench dumbbell press. So I like to take the dumbbells back by resting them on the edge of my knees. I pop up and I rock back and take them straight up and over my chest. Plant the feet super strong into the ground and keep the shoulder blades strong and squeezed together across your upper back. When I pull down, I think of it as a pull. So I'm pulling down to the floor, controlling, and then driving up toward the ceiling like I'm punching the ceiling. Full extension of the elbows at the top so you get some tricep at that finish. Keeping control of the weights in both directions. Feet strong and planted into the ground the whole time. Rock those weights up, and we're going to finish with a little cardio. So bench hops. I'm going to start on one side of the bench, and I'm going to grab onto that bench. I'm just going to hop up and over for 20 reps. If you don't have a bench, you can do all of this from a mat, and then you could just hop side to side over the mat. When I'm doing this, I'm getting a ton of shoulder stability, some triceps in there, lots of abs to hike those knees and tuck those knees up into my chest, and lots of quads and cardio. You can rest after this. I would rest 60, 90 seconds maybe, and rinse and repeat a couple more sets.